at a question paper and see questions asking to identify the moods of some sentences, you will be like, what is mood in English grammar? You will be confused, but no, no more confusion because I am here with you to discuss what is mood and the three major types of moods in English grammar. Let's start the video. Mood is basically the manner or mood in which the action denoted by the verb is represented. Therefore, mood actually represents the manner in which a verb is expressed. Let's know the three major types of mood today. There are three major moods in English grammar. Number one, indicative mood. Number two, imperative mood. And number three, subjunctive mood. We will know what is this mood and the examples of each mood one by one. In case of a statement, a declaration, a supposition that can be turned into a fact or in case of questions, we use indicative mood. So let's repeat. In case of a statement, a declaration, a question or a supposition that can be turned into a fact, we use indicative mood. For examples, I am teaching now. The mood of the sentence is indicative. What time is it by the watch? It is a question, therefore it is indicative mood. And supposition that can be turned into true. It means we are supposing which may turn out to be true. Let's look at this example. If it rains today, I will not go to college. This will be of indicative mood because there may be a chance of raining. So this supposition might come true. So in all these cases, we use indicative mood. If you have any question, then let me know in the comment section. If you have any query, any confusion, also let me know in the comment box. I'll reply to that. Next mood is imperative mood. This mood is used in case of a request, prayer, command, order, etc. So if the questions, if the sentences make a request, an order, a command or a prayer, we use imperative mood. Let's check out these examples. Have mercy on me. This is a prayer to the Almighty. So this will be of imperative mood. Next one. Go to the market now. This is an order. This will be of imperative mood. Next. Please take medicines on time. This is a request, so this will be an imperative mood. Again, if you have any confusion, also comment down below. I'll reply to that later. Let's know about today the third mood of today's video and that is the subjunctive mood. In case of a wish or hope, a desire, a doubt or any hypothetical situation that might not come true, we use subjunctive mood. I repeat, in case of a wish, a hope, doubt, desire or any hypothetical situation that might not come true, we use subjunctive mood. Let's check these examples out. Number one, long live the king. This is a wish or a hope. So here we will use subjunctive mood. Next, it is essential that she be here. It is a desire that it is necessary to be present here for her. So it is, will be of subjunctive mood. The third one, if I be the Prime Minister of India, I would have made healthcare free. If I were the Prime Minister of India, I would have made the healthcare free. 
this is a hypothetical situation that will not come true ever so this case will be of subjunctive mood i hope you will not have any confusion regarding the identification of mood if you want to know any other details let me know in the comment box if you have any suggestions regarding the topics that i should teach you also let me know in the comment box and if you like the video share it like it and subscribe to the channel for more such content